Welcome to another episode of Ocean State Aquatics TV with me, Salty Alley, and today we're doing a species profile on probably one of my favorite little fish here at OSA Wakefield. Today we are talking about the rope fish, aka the reed fish, and these guys are super, super neat, bottom-dwelling little fish that are often confused for eels, but they're not an eel, they're actually a fish. And these guys are super, super unique because they're just absolutely adorable. These fish originate from Africa. They're super friendly, but they do get quite large. So they're a fantastic fish for a larger community setting tank or a little bit semi-aggressive as well. So right here, I have some in this aquarium you can see with semi-aggressive rainbows. We've also got some nice wagtail porthole catfish in here. So you can see it's all fish that are considered semi-aggressive or larger community type fish. Even though they're extremely friendly and very docile, they will sometimes eat small little fish because they are opportunistic. So I wouldn't keep them in a tank with little nano fish, like small neon tetras or little rasboras or anything like that, because if they can catch them, they'll eat them. These fish are best kept in a minimum tank size of 55 or 75 gallon aquarium because they do reach a size of about 15 inches long. These guys are nocturnal, so expect to see them much more active in the nighttime or when you're about to shut your lights off. The best time to feed them for this reason would be right before you go to bed where you can see them zoom around the tank looking for bloodworms, meaty foods, or even pellets. These guys here are eating vibrobites and also the OSA pellet food, so they are already onto that, but it's also good to offer frozen meat foods as well. They tend to live a happier, healthier life on a more carnivorous diet. It is best to keep rope fish on a sandy bottom because they actually are extremely delicate. They can scratch themselves on a rougher substrate such as gravel. Keeping them on sand also eliminates the possibility of impaction. A lot of times because of how they grab their food with their mouth, they sometimes can ingest gravel, which can cause problems down the road. So sand is always a safer bet. These guys have a wide range of temperature requirements that they can handle, so they can go anywhere from 72 to 82 degrees. So like I had said before, they kind of can go in any aquarium as long as there's no tiny fish in there for them to eat. And also because these guys are so docile and friendly, they can be bullied very easily. So I would not keep them with anything that make it out compete them at the bottom of the aquarium, like more aggressive catfish species or any just aggressive fish in the aquarium in general. They tend to do really well with fish like angelfish, rainbows, larger community fish, mollies, platies, as long as they can't eat them. It's always a great idea to have a cave structure in the aquarium so they have somewhere to hide during the day because like I said, they are nocturnal. So most of the time they're going to be lounging and hiding in their little cave. When nighttime comes, you'll start to see them come out. And especially once they get used to you feeding them at a certain time, like I said, typically before lights out, then they'll start coming out around that time a lot more often once they get used to that schedule. One thing I'd like to note for sure, it's extremely important with these guys. If you are thinking about getting one, you have to make sure that you have a very secure lid on the aquarium. These guys are escape artists and they will get out of even the tiny little crack so you just want to make sure that every bit of the aquarium is covered if you have filtration you know hanging on the back you have to make sure that you put sponges or something there so they can't get out because they will find even the one single little hole in the top all right thank you guys so much for watching a species profile today with me salty alley here at our wakefield location and if you're interested i have them here so definitely come on in and check them out these guys are amazing you know what to do keep it fresh baby